Hello, Grade 9 learners. Welcome back to our TLE 9 Cookery class. Quarter 4, Module 3, Select Packaging Materials. Learning Outcome Number 3. Define packaging, its importance, and functions. Select packaging materials in accordance with enterprise standards and adopt appropriate packaging method according to enterprise standards and label food according to industry standards. Let us now define food packaging. Packaging of food which requires protection, tampering resistance, and special physical, chemical, or biological needs. It also shows in the product level any nutrition information on the food being consumed. Always remember that the main objective of packaging is to keep the food in good condition until it is sold and consumed and to encourage customers to purchase the product. Correct packaging is essential to achieve both these objectives. Packaging should provide the correct environmental conditions for food. Environmental conditions for food is starting from the time food is packed through to its consumption. A good package should therefore perform the following functions. In package design, should provide protection and convenience in handling and transport during distribution and marketing. First, persuade the consumer to purchase the food. Next, cluster or group together small items in one package for efficiency. Then in marketing, the packaging and labels can be used by marketers to encourage potential buyers to purchase the product. And correct packaging prevents any wastage, such as a leakage or deterioration, which may occur during transportation and distribution. In many developing countries, the most commonly used food packaging materials include leaves. Banana leaves are often used for wrapping certain types of food. Example, suman. Corn husk is used to wrap corn paste or unrefined black sugar. And cooked foods of all types are wrapped in leaves. They do not, however, protect the food against moisture, oxygen odors, or microorganisms, and therefore not suitable for long-term storage. Another is vegetable fibers. These include bamboo, banana, coconut, and cotton fibers. These natural materials are converted into yarn, string, or cord, which will form the packaging material. These materials are very flexible, have some resistance to tearing, and are lightweight for handling and transportation. Being of vegetable origin, all of these materials are biodegradable and to some extent reusable. As with leaves, vegetables fibers do not provide protection to food which has a long shelf life since they offer no protection against moisture pickup, microorganism, or insects or rodents. Is still on types of packaging materials. Papers. Paper is an inexpensive packaging material. It is, however, highly absorptive, fairly easily torn, and offers no barrier to water or gases. The degree of paper reuse will depend on its former use, and therefore, Paper that is dirty or is stained should be rejected. Newsprint should be used only as an outer wrapper and not be allowed to come into direct contact with food as the ink use is toxic. Another is wood. 
wooden shipping materials or containers have traditionally been used for a wide range of solid and liquid foods, including fruits, vegetables, tea, and beer. Wood offers good protection, good stacking characteristics, and strength. Plastic containers, however, have a lower cost and have largely replaced wood in many applications. The use of wood continues for some wines and uh, spirits because the transfer of flavor compounds from the wooden barrels improves the quality of the product. Earthenware. Earthenware pots are used worldwide for storing liquids and solid foods such as curd, yogurt, beer, dried food, and honey. Corks, wooden lids, leaves, wax, plastic sheets, or combinations of these are used to seal the pots. Another is glass. Glass has many properties which make it a popular choice as a packaging material. Glass is able to withstand heat treatments such as pasteurization and sterilization. Here are the disadvantages of using glass as packaging materials. Glass is heavier than many other packaging materials and these may lead to higher transport cost. It is easy to fracture, scratch, and break if heated or cooled too quickly. Potentially, serious hazards may arise from glass or fragments in the food. The following are the preparation of glass containers. First, inspection. Second, washing. The next one is rinsing. Sterilization. Sealing and cupping and then cooking. Plastics. The use of various plastics for containing and wrapping food depends on what is available. Plastics are extremely useful as they can be made in either soft or hard forms as sheets or containers is similar to glass container. Flexible films are the most common form of plastic. Generally, flexible films have the following properties. Cost is relatively low. Good barrier properties against moisture and gases. Heat sealable to prevent leakage of contents. Have wet and dry strength. Easy to handle and convenient for the manufacturer, retailer, and consumer. Little weight to the product. A fit closely to the shape of the product, thereby wasting little space during storage and distribution. The last one is metal. Disadvantages of metal food packaging materials. It is heavier than other materials except glass and therefore have higher transport cost. The heat treatment associated with the heat of metal cans is not suitable for small scale production. In addition, metal cans have a number of advantages over other types of containers. Metal cans provide total protection of the contents. Metal cans are tamper proof. And also, metal cans are convenient for presentation. The following are the methods of food packaging. Home canned foods. One of the oldest and most common methods of food packaging in home is the use of home canning. Fruits and vegetables are placed in glass jars and sealed in the jars or in the jars by heating the jars and then placing a rubber stop jar top on the jar. The seals are also need to be airtight to prevent the growth of bacteria. Another is freezing and chilling food. Another common method of packaging food is, is freezing and chilling. Freezing can be done in a variety of methods. Most often, it is vegetables that are frozen, all the berries and other foods 
or fruits can also lend themselves to being frozen. Another is the canned foods. Canning foods as a method of food processing have been around foods that are canned commercially are cooked prior to being placed in the can in order to prevent E. coli contamination. Canned foods come in a wide variety ranging from meat to vegetables to fruit. And lastly, foil packaging. One of the innovative methods of commercial food packaging is foil wrapping. Foil wraps are often pouching that are filled and then the bottom and top of the pouch is sealed with a heat still similar to those with commercial frozen packaging. Foil packaging allows the food to be sealed in the package without losing any residual moisture that uh, might still be in the food. The best foods to package in this manner are usually dried foods, baked goods, or grain products. For occupational and health safety procedures in packaging foods, here are the steps on how to package meat or meat before freezing. Divide your, or divide your meat into your set serving sizes. Get a plastic zip bag big enough to hold the portion size plus a little extra room for the meat to expand from the freezing process. Number three, put the meat into the bag, then flatten. Number four, squeeze as much of the air as you can get out, then close the zip. The last one, date the bag so you know how long it's been in your freezer. Now, let's dig in. Direction, identify at least one characteristic of the different types of packaging materials. Please write your answer in your notebook. Once again, this is Ella C. Valdez, your TLE9 teacher. Thank you for watching.